a look at this replay down into three. Yeah, he got in there heavy braking. The car got around on him. You, you can see it's several small hits. Peter Clute does get into the tire while he gasses it back up, just brushes by the wall and carries on, both of them losing significant track position. You can hear it. Another look at what happened to Weller in the 61. Contact with Mark Dilly just ahead of Mark Antoine Cameron. And you know what? Dilly did him a favor. He started him around. Well, have a look at the replays all by himself. And the back end just gets a little bit light. And he swings it out loose. And then once you catch the wall with the back end, it sucks the front end right in. Looks like no touch with J.P. Bergeron. Oh. Yeah, the back end goes and then it just hooks right into the top. One more chance to get it done. The white flag from Mike Charest, the flagman for the NASCAR Pinty Series, down into turn number one. The clock continues to lead. That gap is still two car lengths. Back to Andrew Reid. Now, if you talk to the open wheel guys who run here at the Honda Indy Toronto, they will say there's only a precious few passing opportunities left on this final lap. But if you talk to the NASCAR guys, anywhere is a passing opportunity. If you can reach them, you can hit them. If you can hit them, you can pass them. <laughs> Into turn number three, Ranger not close enough to make contact. So we'll go through single file. The top two still covered by a blanket. He really sent it into turn three, though. Ranger a little bit closer than he's been. Lacroix, he stayed well off of the curbing in that corner. Coming into lap traffic as well. Will this play a role in the final outcome here in the Grand Prix of Toronto? Kevin Lacroix with Ranger filling his mirror. Couple more opportunities to make a Hail Mary as TJ Renamato gets up out of the way. Almost loses control as the leaders go by. Got into the marbles. Now the leaders will work their way through the final couple turns. Through turn number 11 now as the 74 will see the front straight away. And now he'll be able to see the double checkered flag waving. Kevin Lacroix wins in Toronto. <laughs> 